Let's talk about the RDS service. So this is the managed relational database service that AWS offers. And it's really a game changer because in the old days you had to manage these things yourself and it was not fun. Uh, but because it has automatic backups and you know ability to automatically scale, it really uh, is a lot more fun to work with databases. Now, that's one thing, but you also have the ability to do an even funner version of a relational database. And we're gonna go in and, and take a look at what that looks like. So uh, by default here, you do have the ability to spin up Aurora, which is the fancy clustered version that's compatible with either MySQL or Postgres. Uh, or you could, by yourself, just spin up a Postgres, Oracle, MySQL, MariaDB option. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a um, easy create method here. And I'm gonna select um, Aurora, we'll select MySQL uh, uh, com compatibility. And then one other thing that's also interesting is that by default here, it'll automatically go through and auto-generate a password for you. And so th this really is a, a, a super easy way to uh, create a database uh, for you, and it gives you a lot of power uh, when you're creating this database. Now, a, another option as well that's that's uh, pretty powerful is that you can select uh, serverless. And so in this case, what's great about serverless is you don't need to even manage uh, at all what's happening. It'll automatically scale up and scale down for you. And so for many people, this is really a dream a dream come true is you just tell it that the minimum capacity is you want one, the max you want um, is 64. And basically uh, that's all you have to do. And then you have a, a serverless uh, database that will be spun up for you. And you don't, you don't have to even worry about deciding you know what CPU or disk I/O or what usage you want to use. So it's a lot like DynamoDB. So uh, when you are using uh, RDS, this is a, a very powerful option to be aware of. Is to also use something like serverless RDS, which will make your life a lot easier when you're doing just development or you're testing something out.